What's up guys, Tiger here, bringing you guys a quick little tutorial on how to set up the PS4 file browser. And guys, before I start this, if you haven't already set up the WebKit and you, need, you don't know how to, go check out my tutorial on how to set that up. It's a full voice tutorial, pretty easy to follow. And guys, one other thing, before I start this video, let's have a like goal of 20 likes. Why not? Alright, but on a serious note guys, let's get right into this. So, first thing you're going to need is just this folder uh, i'm gonna leave a link to this in the download description below and i give all credit to well not all credit there's obviously credit to the devs that made the file browser but all credit for the website goes to xe brandon the guy that i kind of put in my last video but yeah he's really good with this type of shit guys and he honestly went out of his way to make this so i want you guys to all give him props i don't know i think he left his skype in the thing the last time the uh, comment section jesus well in other words guys let's get right into this so first thing you want to do is just extract this onto your desktop and once it's done extracting you want to go to your xampp folder or directory which you'll find in local disk c you go to xampp and you go to the htc docs you go to the document and you just want to delete all this shit <clears throat> and then you want to come over to this and drag in ps4 exploit hub this whole thing and yeah um see you guys on the ps4 all right guys so i this is my third time actually trying to record this part of this video but i just want to say guys uh don't try to do this over remote play and make sure to clear all your browser cookies and data because that'll mess up the exploit a bit it'll take a bit longer and after many failed attempts I, I finally got it to work so guys first thing you want to do before you actually load in the exploit is you're going to want to or the file browser what am i saying the file browser is you want to make sure you have xampp uh the apache server running and once you have it running you want to make sure you have your internal IP, which mine is 192.168.1.3. Once you have that, which you can get from CMD, you just type in IP config, just like that. And it'll show your internal IP right here or somewhere in that area. And once you have it, you just want to simply load up your browser and you want to go to 192. Uh, let me just load it real fast. And it should show something like this if you're using the same exploit that I showed in this video. Or not exploit, I'm saying. It's says exploit hub. But if you're using the same exact um, directory that I put in the video, the same exact playground and file browser mix, then yeah, you'll get this. And once you load that, it should show up. And I just broke mine. But you've seen right there, guys, it did load. And you're going to get this error a lot where it says it's not going to load for some odd reason. I, I don't understand that, to be honest. The, the there's not enough free memory error and like I've tried and I've tried over and over again and sometimes it just won't work but guys it does work in a way it's a bit buggy and that's all I really got for you guys today sorry for any background noise you know fans and stuff it's kind of hot it's summertime and yeah guys uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this tutorial subscribe if you're new etc guys I'll see you in the next one. Peace.